Okay, so the first thing I did to make this intro was I went to my text effects. I made a new project, went to my text effects and dragged this custom 3D tile into my timeline. And I just extended it to 10, 12 seconds, whatever it was. I'm not too sure, but drag it to whatever you want to do. And then we're going to go up to our inspector. We're going to go to our text tab and we're going to change our text to what we want it to read. Then after we've done our text, we simply change our font, which is just below in the basic. And then after we've selected our font, then we go on and mess around with our 3D texts inspector. So let's have a look at that a little bit more closely. So as I mentioned, I'm going to go in and I am going to change my um, to my font to whatever I um, to whatever I wanted to do, whatever I wanted to be, should I say? And um, I just chose something that, that that was sort of spaced out a little bit, like, like um, there's a, there's a nice um, kerning between, nice gap between the the texts. And then I went in and changed the depth on my 3D text, as you can see on my inspector, and I changed it up to about 50. Um, just so it gives a little bit of more of a 3D feel. And then I went in and changed my bevel to this ridge because it just suited the text. So I'll try and find something that um, that sort of, uh, sort of suits the text. And drag down, change material. For this text and this bevel, I, um, I decided to go with a metal. And um, the metal I decided to go with was copper. And the reason I um, decided to go with copper is because it's got a nice basic default lighting and shadow effect on the side of the 3D texts, as you can see by the three on my um, on my text. And then I just drag the shininess up to around just over 54%. Okay, and now I'm gonna go over to my effects generator, um, highlight it, and I'm gonna go into my search at the very bottom of my effects generator and type in radial or rad. And I will get this radial come up and I'm just going to drag and drop that onto my timeline like so. Okay, so let's move on to the um, a little bit, bit of a difficult bit. And this is keyframing our effect. Let's go into our video so we can see our actual radial effect. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure my timeline is at the start like so. And then I'm going to drag the amount up and click this little plus button, which is a keyframe. And then I'm going to move up to around a second in my timeline. But if you want to sp speed the effect or slow the effect, either um, shorten the length of time or lengthen the length of time, respectively, to what you want to do. Okay, then I'm going to drag my amount down to zero. I don't have to click keyframe because it will auto keyframe for me. That's highlighted in yellow. Drag the, um, the timeline up by about another second and drag the amount um, to it to a an amount that I'm happy with and this this case being 29 30 percent whatever um, move the key and move the timeline again again it will auto keyframe and then drag the amount down and then I'm just going to continue this motion up again another uh, a second or so dragging the amount up to my liking and then again down the way and like I said it will auto keyframe and just keep doing this for the duration of your 3D text effect. Okay, next I'm gonna go into my transitions browser right over here, I'm gonna to go to my search and I'm going to type in um, zoom in my search. And what I'm gonna use is something called zoom and pan to finish the, um, the effect off. Obviously I drag it onto my timeline, it's quite big, so I'm just gonna use the control anchor buttons, highlight it in yellow and drag it down. So now let's just play through our timeline and have a look what our intro is gonna look like um, before we add a few more effects to it, or another effect to it. And it finishes off nicely with a zoom and pan. Okay, so we're back at the start of our timeline, drag our timeline like so, and I'm manually gonna move through my timeline until my effect is back to zero. So when, when, it's, when the effect looks back to normal, and then I'm gonna highlight the effect, the 3D effect in my timeline, and press Command and B, and this will cut um, the the effect or the, the, the 3D text down. And I'm going to move manually along my timeline again until it's back to zero. Press Command B. So manually again till the effect is down at zero or down low. And then press um, Command B. And all I've done is just broke up my text or my 3D text, custom 3D text in random place. Okay, so now let's go over to our effects browser once again. I'm gonna type in flashing or flash in the search 
and I'm going to drag this flash in onto my first um, section of tile or 3D text um, effect or 3D text within my timeline. The second part I'm going to leave and then I'm going to drag the flashing again onto the third part. Now you can break these down even further if you like. Um, and that is really as simple as that. Try and match it to music if you've got musical bangs and then just share it out with the little button at the end, Apple 1080p, if that is indeed your, 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 your preference. So hope you enjoy this um, really easy intro. Have a good time. Catch you later.